Hi, I know you've all heard of a little black book. I'm going to show you how to make the streak of lightning block using the little block book. And come with me and you'll see why it's indispensable. Hi, my name is Amy Marson, and today I will be showing you how to make five different blocks using the quick and easy block tool, or as I like to refer to it, my little block book. Today we're going to be making the streak of lightning block, but by the end of the five video series, you'll be able to make a really nice sampler. So let's get started cutting the streak of lightning block. I've already squared off the side of my block, side of my fabric to get ready to cut my blocks. I want my blocks to be six and seven eight inches, which you can see right here on the ruler. I take the ruler and I go up and I go down just to make sure that it's lined up all the way. I have my right hand firmly placed on the ruler I'm cutting against. And here's a little tip for you. If you're left-handed like me, when your rotary cutter comes, the blade is always on the left-hand side for right-handed cutters. So I remove the blade and I put it on the right-hand side because I'm left-handed. So let's go ahead and make that first cut. And I'm going to start part way and move my fingers up so I'm firmly holding down my ruler the whole time. So I've got my first cut done. I'm just going to toss my fabric over there. And then I'm going to rotate my fabric and I'm going to square it up and I'm going to do that by just lining up along one edge and I've made my second cut to square up my edge and now I'm going to do another six and seven eighths cut right there there we go it's a good thing I measured twice because I would have cut it wrong. Okay. So we've got two of each color there. And we're going to do one more because as I mentioned, we're making a 10 block sampler. So I'm cutting all my fabric at one time because this is the quick and easy block tool. So. I'm trying to get my blocks done quickly. That's my second cut. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you the tip for the half square triangle. So I'm going to take my two fabrics and I'm going to put them together, right sides together. So this is the right side of this fabric. And then I've got my little dotted Swiss American Jane fabric. And I'm going to lay that one on top, right there. I'm going to make sure it lines up, which seems like it would be easy, but on camera, not so much. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to take my ruler and my pencil. And I'm going to put it right here on the edges of the block and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a line with my pencil so that I can see the block to sew and then once I'm done I make a scant quarter of an inch on either side which you'll see in just a minute and on this side as well and then when I'm done with this block I just cut it down the middle press it and I've got one half square triangle done or one quarter of my two column grid block. And what do I mean when I say two column grid? Let me show you. It means that if this were the entire block, it's got one column and two columns. If it were a four column, it would be like this. So there'd be one, two, three, four, just like that.
quick tip, if your fabric's directional, make sure you mark all of the uh, dividers for your half square triangles in the same direction. So I'm going to mark that as an X because I don't want that side. And then I'm going to flip this block over and make sure I mark it the right way here too. That would have been awful. We would have had to have unsewn, and I hate unsewing. Okay, so we're all ready to sew, so let's get started. When you're going to start a stitching line, it's always best to hold your tails so they don't get sucked in and forms a little rat's nest or bird's nest, which is a nicer way to say it. I'm going to press the seams on this piece toward the blue. You usually press towards the darker side, but since we want these seams to nest nicely together, I'm going to press one towards the blue and I'll press the next one towards the green. At this point, my seams are a little bit sloppy. I could tidy that up. The thing that's going to matter the most is this point right here. And so I'm gonna stick a pin right there so I know where I want the stitching line to go. I'm actually gonna sew up to it so I can just move that off to the side. I can get this started.
So if you may have noticed that um, I had a stunt sewist, and I know that may be a new position to some of you, but I realized fairly quickly that I am not a precise sewist, so I called in a stunt sewist. What does that mean? Well, to compa compare the two blocks, what you'll see is on this block, the stunt sewist was able to get a really nice point. On mine, my point didn't quite line up. And the other thing that I noticed when I cut the fabric is with the directional fabric, you have to be really mindful of how you cut it so that it's all going in the same direction. So here, those two are going in the same direction, and then those two, and then here, it's the same thing, side by side and up and down. So you wanna make sure, if you're using a directional fabric, to make sure you're going in the right direction on all four blocks, and to really focus on uh, making sure your points meet precisely. So this is the streak of lightning, and this is the first block in the series of five blocks for the quick and easy block tool. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment or a question. And remember to subscribe to CNT Publishing's YouTube channel. And come back next time and I'll show you the next block we're working on. Until then, bye bye.